Can you come say hi? Good morning. Hey, Elsie, how are you? Morning, everybody. We got Instagram and Facebook. We'll give everybody a few minutes to log in here and then we'll get rolling. So I love, I don't know if you guys say, hey, Monica, um, in April, last couple of workouts i called some of you guys out because i know a lot of you log in just to watch <laughs> so if you're working today give me a thumbs up or something in the comments so i know who's um who's booging today and if you're just tuning in to watch totally fine too because maybe you just want to take a peek at it and then you can watch it later because it'll be saved on our facebook feed so if you don't work out at 7 30 in the morning no biggie give it a peek and then come back to it a little later yes Lots of thumbs up, you guys are working out. Hey Carrie, so we got studios all over representing. We got Mokina, I know Bloomingdale. I know Geneva, what's up Darcy? Awesome guys, we have about two minutes, we'll let people log in. Good morning, Monica. And I'll give you guys kind of a rundown of what we're doing today. Rich. Um, we've got, so it's upper body and yoga, I believe. That's what we're doing today, right? That's what I got planned. Upper body and yoga. So the thing with upper body is, typically, except for your back and your chest, smaller muscles, right? So our heart rate doesn't get super high. I think it's important, especially when we're stuck inside, our heart rate is not elevated enough, often enough. So we're gonna throw lots of cardio in there, okay? You'll still get a great burn in your upper body, but we're gonna get that heart rate up the whole time too. That's gonna carry into yoga today. All right, we're gonna be boogieing and forcing a breath to our movement in yoga, so you guys are gonna keep that heart rate up then as well. Awesome. Good morning, Wendy. Hey, Jill in Westlake. All right, we got Ohio. You guys are coming in from all over, I love it. Keep logging in. So real quick, again, um, upper body and yoga, you guys are gonna need some weights, anything handled. Um, so I've got a couple of, can you believe it? I don't have dumbbells at home. I've got a couple of water bottles. I've also got some kettlebells. So if you only have one weight and it's a little on the heavier side, you can do everything today with that one weight. I'm gonna give you an option for it. Or you have, if you have bands. So maybe you got the homework kit and you've got um, that band set as well. You can use the bands as well. You just need any type of resistance, guys. Cool? Awesome. Nikki. What's up, girl? How's that baby? I see Aaron. That's Aaron from Colorado. Awesome, guys. We are approaching 7.30, so we're gonna get started. If you're not a member of Spinger, if you've never taken a session before, quick rundown. A typical session, obviously, we're not in typical times right now. Typical situation. So it's typically 30 minutes, or sorry, 20 minutes of cardio through spinning, then 20 minutes of strength training, through one of like several different formats, and then 20 minutes of yoga. So you get cardio strength and flexibility in every hour workout. It's killer, it's awesome. Who else we got? Mike, oh my gosh, Mike from way back in the day. How are you? Kelly, all right, I know I can keep like talking to you guys all day. Maybe we just need to do a chat later, but we gotta get moving. So here's the deal. I'm gonna get you guys warmed up. Um, during the warm up, I'll kind of explain the, the format of today. Um, it's going to be two minutes of work and then 30 seconds to a minute um, of recovery in between. All right. All right. So let's get you guys warmed up. I want you to start in a forearm plank. So maybe odd beginning, but I steal this from our master instructor, Lisa. If you guys ever take um, any of her sessions, start in your forearm plank. So shoulders stacked over your elbows. You can be on your knees or your toes, whatever your body allows today. But I want you to zip up between those inner thighs. Feel a little tilt in your pelvis, so glutes are engaged. Core is super engaged right here, right? And I want you to focus on your breathing and set your intention for the next 30 to 45 minutes. All right, I know some of you drop off when we get to yoga. If you can stick with it today and stay with yoga, I think you'll really like it. It'll uh, benefit you guys throughout the rest of the day. Hey, Katie. 
So stay there, set that intention, close your eyes if you need to, but hold that strong plank. We are warming up every muscle in your body right now because it's all activating right here. Your mind is activating as well. Take a deep breath. What's that intention for you today? Repeat it again. All together, let's take one big inhale through our nose. Open mouth, exhale. Push up to that high plank and walk your hands back up to standing. We're going to do some walkouts for our warm up today. If you've got some music cranking, guys, turn it up. It's time to go. Get back to that walkout. You're going to walk out. So plant your hands, walk those hands out to your high plank. Alternate a T. So open up one arm, back to your plank, open up the other arm. Walk those hands back. Now when you get up here, any style of it, but take a jumping jack. All right, that's your warm up right now. Walk it out. Open up to T one side, the other side. Walk those hands back and one jack. We've got a couple more, guys. Walk your hands out. T, good, open up that chest. T, walk the hands back and one jack. Anytime today we're doing jacks, we're jumping around. You guys keep moving, keep warming up. Anytime we're jumping around, if your body's not allowing that today, no problem. You can just take a little side step. I'll give you some options there, okay? Keep going, we've got a couple here. Looking good, guys. Hey, Katie. Good, everything's warming up here, guys. Core's engaged all the way out into that plank. Big reach to open up. And last jack right there, good. Let's bring it to the center and take a squat position. Feet are about hip width apart and just body weight squats. We're gonna loosen up through those hips. This is gonna help get that heart rate up as well. So just a nice, good squat, pushing that booty back like you're sitting back into a chair. Weight back into your heels. Good, and drive up. When you get up, stand up nice and tall. Throughout every exercise, every movement that you do, I want proud posture. So your head stays lifted, chest stays lifted. You feel length through your spine. Keep that squat, but bring those hands behind your head to a prisoner squat and add a twist at the top. Knee up and twist. Let's get a little more core engagement there. Whew. Heart rates are going up. You guys are going to hear me breathing heavy. Good. You guys are going to be breathing heavy too. We're going to get that heart rate up. Come on. Keep going. Squat and twist. Squat and twist. Can you take a little bit faster to drive that heart rate up a little bit and get a couple extra reps in there? We'll give those legs a break in three, two, one. Rest. So since we're doing upper body today, guys, we're going to work on a little shoulder mobility. So open up like a scarecrow. Reach back down and then rotate forward. Up and reach, rotate forward. Good, we gotta take care of those shoulders. How many of you out there have like creaky shoulders? Bother you every now and then? We gotta take care of them. That's a big important joint, just like those hips. I talk about those hips all the time. Keep them healthy. Good, now let's bring that left arm out in front and you're gonna reach with the right and open up. It's almost like a slingshot back. Open up, good. This is one of those, depends on how your body feels, right? You know how far you can push that shoulder and what it feels like through that different range of motion. You just listen to it. Ready to switch in three, two, one. Other arm, open it up. Reach, slingshot it back. Good, feel a little back engagement. Beautiful. <sighs> Almost there, guys. Three, two, and one, good, we're getting that heart rate back up. Take a wide jog, feet are wider than hip width apart. Quick, 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 good. And remember, if you're not running today, just quick steps is just fine. You don't have to be up on those toes. What's up, Lisa? Hi, Denise. Good, we're right here. You're gonna stay right here. Here's the low impact, right? So legs are wide, just move them quick. We've got 30 seconds of an upper body exercise. Don't stop. <laughs> 30 seconds of an upper body exercise. 30 seconds of that same upper body exercise, but we're gonna add a little something to start boosting that heart rate. That's one minute. And then one minute of just cardio, okay? That's your two minute work interval, good? All right, those legs are wide. Now start bringing them in, 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 in. Wide, 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 in, 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 wide, 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 wide. Good, you can do the same thing, low impact without the running. Is that heart rate going up? Yes. 
Looking good, crew, give me four. Three, two, and one. Rest, grab a drink, grab your equipment, have everything ready to roll. You guys ready to boogie? First couple of exercises. So I'm gonna show you, actually we don't need our weights. First one's gonna be down on the floor. We're gonna be in push-up position, but I'll always show you if you have two weights, what it'll look like. If you have one heavy weight, what it'll look like. First round, guys. We're down in push-up. So you're gonna end up being in this push-up for a minute, right? First 30 seconds, regular push-ups. Take it to your knees at any time if you need to. Gaze stays lifted. You continue with that push-up, but the second 30 seconds is a push-up thrust. Now that hop-up might be a big challenge, especially for those hips. So you can take push-up, step it up, and drop your hips, okay? 30 seconds regular push-up, 30 seconds of that. And then we come back to what we did in the warm-up, and we've got wide legs, and then we'll take it in and out, okay? That's your minute of cardio. You guys ready? Spanga fam, we're nice and warmed up. Hi, Mia. Mia from Indiana. Where's my timer? All right, y'all, get down in that push-up position, knees or toes. The timer is starting in three push-ups. Two, one, you guys are on. Let's go, let's go. 30 seconds, but I want strong, solid push-ups. They gotta count. Keep that gaze up past your fingertips. Woo! If you feel that head bobbing up and down, that's not the push-up, right? It's gotta be working up here. This is the natural boob lift right here, ladies. Men, we wanna see those pecs popping. Come on, 30 seconds of just the push-up and then we're gonna add that thrust in three, Two, one, here we go. Push up, thrust. Can you bring those hands up? Back out, push up, thrust. Remember, you can walk those feet up and drop those hips if we're not jumping today. Stay with it, y'all. Looking good, looking good. How's that chest doing? Good, good. You guys better stay off your phones. You're working right now. You're not sending me comments right now. You're working right now. Give me four, three, two, one. Let's hop back up to standing. One minute of cardio right here. I want you to boost that heart rate. Get it up, get it up, get it up. Feet are wide. You're either stepping quickly or you're running it. The first 30 seconds is wide. I want you to feel those hips working. Calves are gonna be on fire. Staying on the balls of those feet, right? Yes. Come on, stay with it. Looking good, looking good. For the last 30 seconds, we're gonna take it in, out, in, out. It's quick. Quick. Two steps in, two steps out. Woo! Legs are burning. Heart rate's up. It's working. And this is the first set. You've got recovery coming. Hold on to it. Come on, 10 seconds. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, shake it up. Grab some water, but keep those legs moving a little bit. I'm gonna show you the next round, guys. Now you need some weights. If you're using two weights, you're right here, we have bicep curl. Good, so first exercise, we talk about time under tension. We're gonna power up, three, two, one, on the way down, power up. Three, two, one, on the way down. If you're using one heavier weight, you're right here, same thing. Power up, three, two, one. Second exercise, you continue with your bicep curls, but we're gonna add a squat. You go down, three, two, one. Mm, power everything up, good? All right, so grab those weights. Then your cardio after that minute is just little X jumps. Right here, if we're not jumping, you're just gonna take a step to the side, step to the side, but drop that booty. Are we ready? We're going in three, two, one, bicep curl. Remember the tempo, power up, three, two, one, on the way down, chest is lifted. Three, two, one, power. Whew. Good, you guys got this. Ah, oh, what's up, Amy? Hey, Kelly. Yes, hopefully you guys are all working today. 30 seconds of just bicep. 
And then we're gonna add that squat. Give me a couple more right here. Power up, slow on the way down. That means the squat's gonna be slow too. Here we go. Down, three, two, one. Power everything up. Three, two, one. Power up. Woo! Those elbows are locked next to your side. A little independent of your body, right? Try not to wedge them in front of your rib cage. All bicep. Come on, give me two more right here. Squeeze those biceps, squeeze those biceps. Power up and weights down. Your cardio. One minute, guys, you know what to do. It's wide, reach across for that little X and either hop together or you're taking a little side step. Good? That little side step would be a great survivor exercise for today too. So at Spango, when we get to strength, sometimes about 10 minutes in, Spin starts catching up with you and you're like, whoo, what am I doing? And we need to take a little break. So we've got a survivor exercise. It helps you keep moving because nobody's giving up. Keeps you moving, keeps you in the workout. But it's a chance for you to listen to your body and make some adjustments if you need to. We got about 10 seconds right here, guys. Good, if you weren't jumping before and you want to try it now, let's finish it up. We're gonna come back to those weights in three, two, and one. Rest. High fives all around. Elbow bumps. Grab some water. We're coming back to those weights. You're not gonna need anything super heavy on this one, guys. We're coming to those shoulders for shoulder press. So weights here, basic shoulder press. Core is engaged, right? We can take a stagger stance if we want to. We're gonna end up being here for a minute. First 30 seconds, just shoulder press. Second 30 seconds, we're gonna add a lunge. Everything comes up together, everything goes down together. Alternating the lunge. Good? And then we drop those weights and your cardio is two quick reverse lunges, two side taps. Two quick reverse lunges, two side taps. That brain's gonna be working overtime today. We got some coordination that we need to Get into the workout. Okay, guys, you're ready. Grab those weights. If you're doing single weight, you can do the same thing. Your shoulder press is right here. Good, ready. Three, two, and one. We've got 30 seconds on the clock. I want you to breathe here. Exhale as you press the weights up. Inhale on the way down. Now, if you're using lighter weights, we talk about time under tension, right? We want to put those muscles under tension. So maybe you speed it up a little bit if you have lighter weights to give them a little more time under tension. Go, go. <sighs> Good, when we start getting tired and fatigued, our core starts giving up a little bit, right? So we need to keep this in check. This is the important part. Radiate strength, your strength, to every other body part. Ready, bring in those lunges in three, two, one, alternate everything down, everything up, down, up. Yes. How are those shoulders feeling? Give me a shout. Imagine I can hear you. Let's go, let's go. Power through. You're gonna about 10 seconds here. We're gonna drop those weights. Remember your cardio. One quick lunge each leg, and then a quick side tap. Three, two, and one, weights down. Here we go, quick lunge, lunge, tap, tap, lunge, lunge, tap, tap. You guys got it, holy hips, right? Yes, working every angle, every one of those glutes. Push, push, you're here for a full minute. Now you saw me doing that little hop in between the lunge, totally optional. If you just wanna step that little thing, and you want to make it nice and shallow and short, totally fine. Just want to get you those legs moving. And most importantly, that quick side to side tap. Whew. How would you feel if I told you we're three rounds done and we have three to go? <laughs> you guys got this. Oh, last four. Three. Two, and one. 
rest. You guys earned it, a little cardio with that upper body. Never killed anybody, right? All right, y'all. Back to those weights, we're gonna hit triceps now. If you're using two weights, bring those weights together, we're overhead, and you've got an overhead extension. Good, if you're using one weight, no problem, that one weight, good. Elbows are pointed forward, but you can see those elbows in your peripheral vision, all right? You should be able to see them. That's first 30 seconds. Then we're gonna take those legs wide. Everything comes down, plie, squeeze it up. Everything down together, everything up together. Your cardio on that one is jacks. Any type of jack that you want. Seal jacks, regular jacks, star jacks if you want, all right? Just depending on what your body's capable of today, how hard you want to push it. You ready to push it hard? Yes! Let's go, Spanga fam, grab those weights. Weights overhead, here we go. Three, two, one. Overhead extension, squeeze it up. You can see those elbows in front of you, just slightly, but those elbows are gonna stay locked in place. Good, they're pointed forward. Mm, push. Here comes the grunting. Told you I was made fun of for grunting, right? Christelle, are you on right now? <laughs> the grunting helps. Ah, power it up there. Come on, give me one more rep. Now take those legs wide and bring the plie into it. Down, everything up and press. Now notice when you get to the bottom of that plie, if you notice a deep arch in your back, I want you to suck that belly button in and take those hips straight down to the floor. Good, so it's a straight up and down versus backwards. And if you don't go very far, that's okay. Those hips are a little tight, no problem. You just take it as low as you can. Good. You've got five, four, get ready to get rid of that weight. And one, get that weight out of the way. Any jack that you want. Woo! Yes, viewer's choice here. This is your regular jack. Again, if we're low impact today, if we're not jumping, no biggie. Listen to your body. That's the smartest way to train. Good? Anybody want to try star jack with me? Oh, I know Lisa will. She's just showing off on Saturday with all her star jacks. <laughs> I'm impressed. One minute, guys. Maybe you mix them up a little bit. Maybe a couple star jacks. Maybe some squat jacks. And then maybe some seal jacks. Whatever you want, just keep that heart rate up. You've got about 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Rest. You've got about a minute. Grab some water, and we're coming back to weights. If you have one heavy weight, you're gonna grab that one now. You can use your smaller weights as well. We're gonna hit that back. So we're hinged over at our hips, and it's an alternating row. So if you have two weights, perfect. We're right here, right? Palms are gonna face back. You're gonna twist palm facing forward. Alternate, good? So it's pretty quick. If you have one heavier weight, which I really like this option, one arm takes it, twist, pass it off. Twist, pass it off. Good, so we're here for 30 seconds. You're like, how are the heck are we gonna add in some lower body here? The second 30 seconds, it's gonna go real quick. You can either take a lunge here and you pass in front, or you can take a single leg deadlift, but I want that standing leg nice and bent. All right, the focus is still on that back exercise. And then cardio, from back to the beginning when we were doing those squats, we're gonna take a squat, alternate squat. So a little hop at the top if you want it, to boost that heart rate a little bit more. You guys ready? Grab that heavy weight. Hinge from your hips. Can't stress that part enough, right? Booties back, get parallel to the floor. We're going in three, two, one. Alternate, drive it up. Boom. Good. And if you can do that twist, we'll hit a little more, a few more angles of those back muscles. All right, so palm starts facing back. Twist it forward. Ah. Oh. Here comes the grunting. 
Good, core is engaged, right? If we're starting to feel this in our back a little bit, I need you to tighten up here to protect your back. Push those hips back a little bit. Good, protect it. Come on, getting stronger with every rep here, guys. Let's go, let's go. We're hitting that 30 seconds here. Let's start with the right leg. You can either take it back into a lunge or that deadlift. You're only gonna be here for about 15 seconds, but all that weight is going into that left leg. Ah, still dragging those elbows back, come on. Ah, push, push, and switch legs. Don't stop the row, keep rowing, keep rowing. Just switch that left leg back, all that weight in the right leg. You guys got it. You got it, come on, come on. You got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, drop that weight. Ah, cardio, one minute of cardio. Squat, twist. Squat, twist. If we're not jumping, it's just a squat. Keep those feet planted and up and twist. But if your body's capable today, I know some of you get a little lazy being stuck at home, right? You kind of forget what you're capable of. Now you're gonna come back to that intention from that plank at the beginning of the session. Come back to that intention, why you logged in, why you picked up those weights, why you're working. Yes, Christelle, I see you. Come on. So now we need to dig in. If you're taking that low impact or if you're slowing down because you're tired, so what? That's when things, that's when things happen in your body. That's when changes are made. Because you've got to be mentally strong right now. Come on, you've got 10 seconds. Push, push, 10 seconds, finish it up. And we've got one round left. We're almost there. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right, so I saved the best for last. You guys know I like to build on the exercises. The last one, it's two minutes of work, just like the other rounds, but it's one exercise. We're gonna combine everything. I want you to go at your own pace on this one because there's a lot going on. So you're gonna grab that one weight or those two weights. You're gonna start down in your push-up position. So have that weight kind of right in front of you or under your chest. We put them all together. You've got a push-up. Keep those feet nice and wide or take your knees. One row, uh, one row, uh. thrust, bring that weight with you or those weights up, curl, press, tricep extension. Bring it all back down, back to that plank. You start from the top with that push up. You guys good? Two minutes, nonstop. Heart rate's gonna be up. We're hitting every stinking muscle in that body right now. That's what it's all about. You guys ready? Get those weights ready. You can have all of your weights nearby, right? You're just gonna have them right around your chest in front of your hands. Two minutes starts now. Let's go, let's go. One push up, row each side. Thrust it up, drop that booty, come up, curl, press, triceps. Everything comes back down. Push up. Ah. Thrust. Curl, press, tricep. You guys got this. 30 seconds down already. Quarter of the way through this one. Come on, guys. I'm cheering you on from home. You got to cheer yourself on in your head as well. If anybody else is home with you right now, be like, come on, guys. <laughs> I need some support. I need a little love right now. We're gonna finish this two minutes. No need for speed on this one, right? Take your time, make sure that every movement has purpose and that we're working the right muscles. You can either jump back or step back when you go back down into that push-up position. Less than a minute to go, guys. Come on, as long as they're good, I don't care if you only get five of these reps in as long as they're good and you go through every movement. Here we go, last 30 seconds right here. Last 30, this is where you prove what you're made of mentally. We know the body's tired, but when you start slowing down and giving up, it's actually your head that's giving up. That part's gotta stay strong, come on. Come on. I believe in you, you gotta keep going, you gotta keep going, you got 10 seconds right here. Finish these last 10 seconds. Give me a grunt on the last one. 
It'll get you through it. Woo! Last four. Three, two, and one. Push those weights to the side, guys. I know you're tired right now. A lot of people want to bail right now, right? Stick around for yoga. Only going to be about 15 minutes. We're going to keep that heart rate up a little bit and then give you guys a good stretch. So let's lose those shoes. Socks are optional. Pull that mat out. And we're going to start standing as usual. Heart rate is up right now. We're going to keep it up. Good. Roll those shoulders back. Inhale as you draw those shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, roll them back and down. One more time. Inhale, shoulders high. Exhale, roll them back and down. Bring your arms in this time. Inhale, arms wide and high. Exhale, goal post your arms. Open your chest, take a mini back bend. Inhale, those arms high again. And exhale, forward fold. Deep hinge from your hips. Sending sit bones to the ceiling, letting your head hang heavy. Maybe grabbing your forearms and taking a little rag doll side to side. Maybe nodding your head. Yes, shaking it. No, always ending with yes. Release those arms, hands to your mat. On your next inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift, flatten out your back. Exhale, fold, find your high plank. You can hop or step those feet back. So as we flow to down dog, I know upper body is super tired right now. If you want to take your knees at any time, go for it. All right, I'll always talk you through this flow. Inhale forward, an inch or two. Exhale, we come down to a half push up here, hover. Inhale, turn to the tops of your feet. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Good, dig into that down dog a little bit right now. Pedal out your feet, walk your dog, maybe wag your hips side to side any movements that feel good. You might feel a little kind of snap, crackle, pop through your back. So we kind of loosen some things up. And then find stillness in that downward dog again. On our next inhale, soften our knees, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, press into your shins. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, send those legs back again. We flow to down dog. Inhale forward. Exhale, hover. Inhale, up dog, big chest lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. On our next inhale, send that right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, pull it through and plant it between your hands. Good, get that knee stacked over our ankle. Inhale, up crescent lunge. Good, so first time through on each side, we're gonna take it nice and slow, get those poses right, and then second time through, we're gonna boogie. All right, we're gonna force that breath to movement. Strong through your legs. Inhale as you reach through your fingertips. Exhale, hinge forward. Send those arms back, airplane arms. Reach forward through the crown of your head, back through that left heel. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, warrior three with airplane arms. Send all your weight to that right leg. Send those pinkies toward the ceiling. Reach forward through the crown of your head, back through that left heel. Good, sink into that right leg. And on an inhale, open up warrior two. Plant that left foot down. You stay where you are, I'm just turning around. And find warrior two. Inhale as you reach through those fingertips. Exhale, side angle. You can support yourself on your thigh or drop that arm inside your leg. Strong through our core here. On our next inhale, take it all the way up and reverse our warrior. Reach that right palm up and back. Still finding length through our spine, through the crown of our head. On an exhale, come back to warrior two. Inhale, open star pose. Turn to face the long edge of your mat, toes out just a little bit, fingertips spread wide. Glutes are engaged, legs are engaged. We're pressing into our feet. Inhale as we reach. Exhale, sumo squat with a little lat pull. Squeeze those back muscles. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, down. Inhale, star pose. We like things in three. Exhale. Inhale, back up. And this time, we're going to find our lunge. So turn those right toes forward again. 
pivot up onto the left ball of your foot, square off those hips, and sink back down into that right knee. Good, so that transition's gonna be a quick one when we start moving. Inhale as you reach up and take a mini back bend here, gaze comes up, and exhale. Fold, frame that right foot, send it back to meet the right. We flow to down dog. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale to hover. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right over to the other side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, pull it through, plant it on your mat. Inhale, up crescent lunge. Find your lunge, feel a little scissoring between your thighs. Pulling left hip back, drawing the right hip forward. Inhale as you reach. Exhale, hinge forward, airplane arms. Reach through the crown of your head, lots of weight in that left leg. Inhale back up. This time, warrior three, airplane arms. Weight goes into that left leg. Reach the right leg back. Forward through the crown of your head. Good, sink into that left leg and spiral those arms open, warrior two. Beautiful. Glutes are engaged, open up those hips on an exhale. Reach forward and take your side angle. You can reach that arm all the way overhead, bicep by your ear. You can keep reaching towards the ceiling. On our next inhale, bring it all the way back up and reverse it. Constant flow of breath here, staying low in our legs. Inhale back up to warrior two, settle, and then inhale star pose. Open up to the other side, you guys know what we're doing here. Inhale as you reach, open, glutes are engaged. Exhale, lat pull, squat. Inhale, reach, exhale, squat. Inhale, reach, exhale, squat, last one. Inhale, star pose, find your lunge. You can sweep that right arm around, pivot onto the right ball of your foot. Make your hips come with you. Left toes are pointed forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take a mini back bend, reach up and back. And fold over that left leg, send your left leg back to meet the right. We flow to down dog. Inhale forward, exhale, hover. Inhale, up dog. Exhale. Down dog, hold on to your down dog here guys. So I told you we were gonna boogie, right? This part goes really fast and then we are done. We stretch and we're out, good? All right, so we're gonna be forcing our breath a little bit. Your breath is gonna initiate the movement. So as we move, that inhale is gonna take you into movement or that exhale is gonna take you to the next movement. So we're gonna force a little bit to keep you moving quickly and get that heart rate up or keep that heart rate up. So from down dog, on an inhale, send that right leg high. Exhale, plant it between your hands. Inhale, up crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane arms, hinge forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior three, airplane arms. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose, turn those feet. Exhale, squat with the lat pull. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squat. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, squat. Inhale, star pose, find your lunge. Turn those right toes, left ball of your foot. And plant those hands on the mat. Send that right leg back to meet the left. We flow to down dog. Inhale, forward. Exhale, hover. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Over to the other side, right away. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, pull it through, plant it. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane arms, hinge forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior three, airplane arms. Stay for the inhale. Soften your knee on the exhale. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, open star pose. Last three reps here. Exhale, pull and squeeze your booty. Inhale, reach, star pose. Exhale, down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, down. 
Inhale, reach. Exhale, find your lunge. And exhale, plant your hands. Send that left leg, left leg back to meet the right. Drop to our knees and let's find child's pose. Take those knees a little wider than hip width. Make sure those big toes are touching behind you. Let your forehead rest on the mat. Lengthen your arms out in front of you. Relax into your shoulders. Release everything through your back. We've all been at home a lot, which typically means we've been sitting down a lot, either in front of the TV, in front of a computer, sitting at the table, doing work with your kids. We need to get up and move, and that sitting is gonna tighten up our hips and affect our back. So whenever you can, take a little child's pose or the next kind of little movement that we're gonna do to help loosen up your back and keep that back healthy. When you're ready, press up to all fours. And let's bring that right foot up, plant it outside of your right hand. If you need to make some adjustments here, maybe shifting that left knee back, go ahead and just sink into your runner's lunge here. Before you collapse too much into it, lengthen up through your spine. Feel that weight press into your hips. Long spine, and then you can surrender your upper body, maybe inside that leg. Maybe we need it for a little bit of support today. Whatever feels good. Plant those hands again. Curl your left toes under. We're gonna send that right leg back to three-legged dog and open it up. Bend that knee, open up your hip. And then bring it back to the center. Find your downward facing dog. A gentle inhale of that left leg and exhale it forward. Plant that left foot outside your left hand. Drop to your right knee. Low kneeling lunge on the other side. Again, make some adjustments here if you need to. Find length through that spine first. Send weight into your hips. And then surrender your upper body to wherever you're going with the pose today. So I'm sure we've all seen videos, of a bunch of yoga videos of just these beautiful movements and everything lands perfectly and the foot's always in the right place and hands are in the right place. I mean, let's be real, it doesn't happen like that, right? <laughs> so be aware of where your hands, feet, knees, all of that are, but make adjustments whenever you need to. Nothing lands perfectly. We have to move things around on our mat, that's okay. Let's curl those right toes under this time, plant your hands, send your left leg back to three-legged dog. Let's open it up on this side, bend your knee, open up that hip. And come back. Oh, let's swing those legs around to seated. We're gonna extend that right leg out in front. Open up your left knee. Um, so you're kind of facing at an angle, right leg is out to the side, but we're sitting up on those sit bones. Good, up on those sit bones, sit up nice and tall. Inhale our left arm high, and exhale, take a side bend here. Here's a little trick. Send that right arm inside your right leg as a little bit of a leverage point to push that left shoulder forward, right shoulder forward, and lengthen out through your spine. Because the side bend has to do with lateral movement, right? As soon as we collapse forward, we kind of lose the side bend. So press on the inside of that leg, reach up and over. Inhale it back to the center. Plant that left hand back by your left hip here. We're gonna come onto that left shin, sweep that right arm up, press into your right foot, your left shin. And on an exhale, come back down. Sweep those arms back down. Let's switch. Left leg is extended. Tuck that right leg in. Remember, we're not facing the left foot, but we're facing out here towards our heel, opening up those hips. 
Left arm is inside that left leg. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, side bend. Let's try to drop that left shoulder away from our ear. Give a little push on the inside of that left leg to draw that left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. On our next inhale, bring it back up, plant that right hand behind your hip. We're pressing into that right shin, left foot, sweep it up and open. And exhale brings you back to seated. And let's bring those legs out in front. Last stretch, guys. Come on down to our back. Plant your feet on your mat. So this is a good one I was telling you about with child's pose. And then maybe take this every now and then. Feet are just a little bit wider than hip width, but heels are up to, or towards your hips. And just rock your knees side to side. It's okay if your hips pop off the mat. It's just kind of a feeling of how far you go. You might feel a little crackle and pop even all the way down through your sacrum here. Side to side. And then bring stillness to those legs. Keep your feet planted and let your knees fall next to each other. Rest against each other. You'll feel your lower back press a little bit further into the mat. Relax your upper body. Draw your arms to your sides with your palms facing up or maybe resting one hand on your heart, one on your belly. And just stay here, enjoy this minute of stillness and quiet. Notice the sound of your breath as you inhale and your belly rises. You exhale, you let it go. One more just like that, inhale, belly rises. Exhale, let it go. When you're ready, start bringing a little movement back to your body and roll up to seated. You guys did an awesome job today. I see from the viewers on there, you guys stuck around for yoga awesome. I promise it'll make you feel so much better for the rest of the day. So remember, if you're new to Spanga, it's typically 20 minutes on the bike, 20 minutes of this type of strength and 20 minutes of this type of yoga. So you're getting two out of the three while we're stuck at home. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Be well, be safe. Have, hope everybody stays healthy and uh, check out the schedule. We've still got live sessions running. We will run some sort of live session every day until every single one of our studios has reopened. So um, we're hanging in there with you. And I will see you guys soon.